Hello everyone, me phone here, and I'm Son of Beast. As you all know, that the season of the NBA is officially done for the year. Now it's time to step into the postseason and get started for the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Who will be heading to the second, the championship game of the conference, and in the NBA Finals? Find out. Once this game starts here in the first round, let's get started on 2K Sports. Hello everyone, Sonic Beast and Me Phone here, back again for another game of the NBA Playoffs. And that's right, this final last game of the first day we will have is the Clippers and the Phoenix Suns. The fourth and fifth seed battle, in between by the state of the collision, in between of Arizona and Los Angeles. Clippers and Suns are the toughest team to try to make it up here in the Western Conference. As for both players have inbound to try to take their possession right toward the game. And without Russell Westbrook and the Lakers, they've always brought up Patrick Beverly on the other hand with the with the Lakers. But right now, Russell Westbrook is playing with Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, the dynamic trios rebuilt their new group who are in occasion. And on the other side we have is Kevin Durant. Yeah, KD is the only man that we all know for Brooklyn Nets. We all can't thank you enough for Kevin Durant. His, his dreams will never will never try to slow him down. He will always make his dream to his life. With the starting lineups, we have across from the Lakers to Clippers, Russell Westbrook, then Paul George, the claw of Kawhi Leonard, Marcus Morris Sr., and Ivica Zubox. And on the Phoenix Sun side, we have his Chris Paul, CP3, Devin Booker, number one, Josh Okoji, KD of Kevin Durant, and two, the taller man in the center, DeAndre Ayton. That is it for the starting lineups. Now it's time to send you over to Footprint Center. As a standby for the commentary tonight, I will have the next one to come in to take a look at this. We have across the board, we have his fan, along with Silver Spoon. And Nickel with the third contestant on with the commentary. And I will be seeing you back here with a halftime show and a post-game show. So keep us tuning in here after the end of the first half and second half. Until we until the new choice is being given, we'll see how this one goes. And tomorrow will be another new day. Enjoy the last game, folks. See you all later. 2K Sports, welcome to the following presentation of the NBA Playoffs. A good view from the Phoenix of this Arizona and a space of this game. Coming up, we've got the next matchup to take on here. For the Clippers and the Suns, they're getting ready to see who's going to take the win. Next, after this. And we are here at the Footprint Center. Me, Van, along with Silver Spoon and Nickel, this is the NBA of the Playoff Edition on Two Gay Sports. On a sideline report, we have his alley up, Ali LaForce. Hey, Ali. Thanks, guys. Well, DeAndre Eaton is a defensive anchor in the middle. He talked about his ambition at the end of the floor, saying, I just want to be able to guard one for five. That's my goal. I'm going to show my opponent why he's not supposed to be on the same floor as me. Brian, plenty of confidence. <laughs> I like that one out there. Thank you, Allie. With this one, I'd like to say that it's going to be a raucous team I have ever seen of how this game is going to happen. As you know, the Clippers have already won against the Spurs, and the Suns win against the Atlanta Hawks. Those two teams are ready to show up their aggressive run in the collision course of the Western Conference. Now that I'm ready, I'd like to see what they can do. Try to fight for a win in order to make it all. Suns wins the tip off. With Durant on the ball, we will get started with being filled up with Gatorade, all filled up and ready to go. Here's Durant, he's covered up by Marcus Morris Sr. 
and it's thicker on Paul George. Then it's in here on, on Ibika Subox. Of course, on the other hand, you have the you have is you have is Chris Paul on sorry, Chris Paul on Russell Westbrook, and then and Kawhi Leonard on uh on Akoji. Okay, now I understand. Well, they might be out there for just one reason. You know, they, they really doesn't show the feelings of this group of scene. After a dump for Aiden, then we got someone out there to try to put up a reverse out there. Trying to pick up the run and play. Booker shot. Good. For the two-point range out from the, the sideline. You're telling that, that Devin Booker was able to do his own long time. And his moment ability was keeping it right on the set. It's very uh, decent. But however, how hard you play with the offense, you're going to need to remember this one with the player players in the fence. Russell Westbrook finding over on over on Paul. Morris for the three. Three pointer. Put back in for Russell Westbrook. That's his first bucket after a missed here by Morris Senior. Who that Morris Senior was even going to try to improve that one? I don't even see what's going to happen. Might have to keep that pressure up there. Aiden on the big desert box. Finds over to Booker. Back to Paul. With six on the shot clock. Booker for the triple. It's rebound away, Aiden. Okoji tries the three. Now another miss here by my Phoenix Suns. They're losing a lot of the temptation here for the three-pointers. They're out there for one, one moment at a time. They don't want that one to keep playing if real. They have to give over this and try to run it from the deck. They've got to do something else. Here's Aiden, covered by two box. Finds Booker. For the two, slides back to Paul. Swings to Booker. Booker for the two. Ranging in and out as Paul George picks up his rebound. George on Booker, lost the ball, and takes over Durant. Fast break, here we come. Here's Okoji. Oh, the dunk, and Paul George didn't see where it was going. Oh, Okoji. I like this one, the muscle of this move. And for Paul George, didn't really notice what's going on. I like that Chris Paul with the assist. Really well done. Zubox on Aiden. For the two. Rebounded off by KD. Now for Kevin Durant, he said never played with the Suns here before, as after the trade-in comes along with the Brooklyn Nets, he made a new team as Paul Bridges is, is in with a new team to play with the Brooklyn Nets. And the franchise player just keeps on rising. Yeah, absolutely. They really have it all the down. When you talk about with the player of this result, they have it all down on board. First foul is called on Morris Senior. Their first personal and first team foul for LA. Right now, Chris Paul is at the free throw line shooting two. Chris Paul hits the first free throw. You say that when Chris Paul has a down, we've got one numbers here, and he can try to spread the word and do it with his own victim. New players are checked in uh, for the for the Clippers. Two players are checked out as Bayombo and Craig are checked in. And the second free throw is good for Paul. Paul's got his first bucket in the free throw line. Now waiting for his turn to go back from the other way. Filing on Paul. Swings to Plumley. Back to Powell. Screen on Plumley. Try to give it off to Plumley. Two over Piombo. Plumley. Rebound on the ball. Goes back in with the two point again. They got it tied up already. A little switch off lead changes for tonight. They're off to it to do it again. All alone, they have to try to figure something out. Craig outside, finds Booker, with a layup drive, and a foul falls on Mason Plumley. That's his first foul. LA receives a second first 17 foul for 2.11 to go. Right now, Booker is at the free throw line, taking two shots, 
Well, I have a free throw percentage for Phoenix Suns. They're absolutely doing this one, one to many. With that moment, I have to tell that this isn't really easy for him to try to keep the scores up. When they have it all, they, they've got to do it again. Booker, first free throw went in. And they have it all down there as Booker was keeping it alive. New player substitution as Paul George is checked out. Mann and Batum are checked in. They also are making new changes for the Suns as Chris Paul is checked out. Cameron Payne, Tori and Craig moves over to point forward, and Lee is checked in. Second free throw for Booker is good. Clippers trail by two. Find Powell. Powell kicks over to Highland. Just about two minutes to go in the first period. A 10 to 8 score. A tight match is in between. Here's Powell with a two. Leaves up with a first rebound for Bayamba. Is this goal of this moment? They have to try to regroup it. They don't want any of that trouble to cause a foul. Bayamba, right back to Booker. Booker back over to Bay Payne. Spin move with a two. Payne, no good with a two pointer. His pain was just going madness to whoops. It didn't really see the fault by at all, but it has to be right. And a foul is called on Phoenix Suns on Bayambo. That's his first personal, their first team foul occurs for Phoenix Suns. An excellent pass. You had to save this one, do you, too much? But you can't let that man go right into the offense and go in with the foul on the call. That is really hard. Tyron Lynn is the head coach for the Los Angeles Clippers, and Monte Williams is the head coach for the Suns. They're all doing aggressive runs out there. They have something else to do. Batum hits the first free throw. Now a new change up here for the Suns, as right now Ross is checked in for Devin Booker. Second free throw is good for, for Batum. You're telling me that Batum was able to do his own job. I may have to say that this wasn't really that tough to try to keep it honest to go with this player in this game. May not be that tough to go around it. They may have to pursue on their way to keep the road ahead. They've got to do this one again. Lee, step back over two. No good on a two pointer. There's Violet. Going to take a pressure too. It's rebounded by Torian Craig. He's got his first rebound. He kicks it to Payne. Just about 50 seconds to go in the first period. It's even. Ross swings back to Lee. Lee to Payne. Free for Ross. Ross shot goes in and out as right now Plumley with a rebound. Swings to man. Tight man in the corner. Highland for three for the lead. No free pointer made here for, for Highland. He's out of room. Trying to get that one to focus right here to, to go with the better run. Ross swings back to Ross. With a two. Oh! <laughs> wow! Why in the world did he do that? That's like a big second bed jam out there, like LeBron James has it down. Roll it down on the court. And that will do here for the first quarter. First quarter. A good two-point lead for Ross with a dunk. A 12-10 ride. First period is closed. Second period coming up after this. And we have finished the first period. Right now, the Suns are trying to fight back over the LA Clippers with a 12 to 10 lead, and they are pushing their way up the limit of the score. They've got a lot of intentional work, and they need to get these things done. Of course they do. They have nowhere else to go. But in that case, they have to find someone else to try to keep the pressures again. But they don't have enough room to try to keep the ability to go longer. If they have to summon down, they got to get over it. 
Paul George, an excellent try game as Russell Westbrook picks up his assist. Here's Kevin Durant, takes off to Paul. He now finds Durant. Trying to give it over to Booker. Paul for three. Three pointer off the mark. Aiton. Booker slides back to Okoji. Booker again. Booker with the move. Layup. Good stop by Kawhi Leonard is the stop of the gun. Gordon George. Three pointer, no good for the Clippers. They're going too much three pointers out there. They have to fix it. He finds Okoji. Trying to swing it back to Booker. Paul tries again from the range. Second time, three pointer, no good. He's missing a lot. I don't know what to say, but the defenders are always catching him the break. They've got to get over it. As for a rule from Allie LaForce, his team, however, really has to keep it right on the momentum line. They're out of it for no other reason to get there. Well, especially if they if they are trying to like try to stay alive in the game. You've got to know the truth. Believe yourselves. Yeah, yeah. I I feel good about them. But the head coach really saying that Monte Williams is really up in the corner of the game? They really gotta show their focus. Wow, Devin Booker with a drive. Reached it right in time. And that was your mobile one drive for the Suns. Westbrook to Gordon. He finds over alley oop. Slam down off the loose for Zubox. Uh oh, man. I he saw that last game as he's seen the Kings. He lost that dunk. He didn't try to recover it at that point. Yeah, I did see that. I knew that it was going to be hard in that call. Akoji, slight. Paul for the third. Three time, no good. Kawhi Lena trying to fight for the ball, going back to Westbrook. George on Durant. Find Zubax. Over Paul. Floater, no good. After a win, Wednesday win against the LA Lakers for the for the LA Showdown, they're not tough enough to be honest. Oh, oh, wow! That's a two-time beaten dunk. As you say here, uh oh, oh my! Uh oh, Ooh. Russell Westbrook. I saw you, Cam. That's really not tough. Be honest out there. Watch him. Ball finds the ring. Try to push it from the lane. Free for Okoji. Try to give it back. Booker outside. Try to move it again to try to make another quick step. Ball outside. Ball tries for the three. And there's the cash in. Chris Ball receives his first three pointer. And he has five. Well, he's trying too many times, but now he has it all. That's what he considers it. Do the best. Jordan on Booker. Try to reach from the muscle group. With a two, step back. Fadeaway shot, no good for Eric Gordon. Eric Gordon has definitely played here with the Houston Rockets last time, before he was transferred to the lake, to the Clippers. I have no good feelings of this congestion of what, however, what's going on, but they really have no sudden changes to get over this the game. They've got a lot of it to try to keep him out. Here's Paul for the fadeaway. No foul call. Aiden put it back in. And that's a 21 to 14 score as Aiden catches up with six points. First time on call by LA Clippers. They'll have to talk it again. They're doing all over this. Gotta make it clear on that one. The NBA playoffs of two-day sports is brought to you by your local Kia dealers. A moment, night spiders. Stay fine. Like a good name, stay fine is there. by American Express. Don't live life without it. Coming up 
winner will be the halftime show, as right now Summit Beast and Mikon are ready to take their own judgment out there. And they'll be out there for the moment uh, after this first half of the game comes to a completion. We say about this one, you know, what the game has always come down to. But their next matchup, the Phoenix Suns may be able to do it for the away, while the, while the Clippers are doing it at home. They don't know of a regression to get this thing a run. You know, the back to back swings and the scores and the runs. What is the key here if they're going to try to keep a run from the deck? Well, they might be doing a lot much harder than they have done over the past couple seasons here. In the postseason, for the playoff edition, this part of the inbounding and maybe not that rough to get over this. I may have to say that second round of it could be tricky, but not at long, may have to find the truth. Finally, not even. Flames to Plum Lane. With a layup, scoop a backboard and makes that shot. And Highlands got his first assist of a night. They're all doing this one because the Highlands has this shot turned out to be one occasion. Lee swings to Payne. Back to Ross. Ross, back to Payne. Shoots over Highland. On the remiss by Phoenix Suns. They're starting to go downward out there because if Cameron Payne was trying to keep the open shots occurrence, they're not really trying to keep it over and again. The foul is called on Ross. That's his first personal, a number team foul for Phoenix. Right now at the free throw line will be an error occurrence to kick the ball on the deck. As, as, as Norman Powell will take two shots at the free throw line, they're absolutely going uh, all over this again. And if there's time to spare, I mean, they, they have to do something else. They like a lot of work out there. They have to do something else to try to stop it. Norman Powell hits the first free throw. With occasionally of how Norman Powell does, his most of the current season was, was being lifted up. And my moment is going to be able to bring that Norman Powell will be able to be gladly enough to keep the team. It might be tough, though. If they're from the, uh, the good looker in between. Second free throw off the mark. The Suns lead up by lead up by five. Lead up by six. Of them. And offensive foul calls on Payne. That will be their first turnover for the Phoenix Suns. Their fans are not really that happy about this one. Is Cameron Payne was not trying to bump him out. That was all it did turn out. That was a very, uh, literally dull of this moment. They do not like that call at all. Highland over to Plumley. 45 seconds to go in the first half of the game. Plumley finds Highland. Highland trying to move roll over to the corner for the layup. Scoop and drive in. They're down by three. They're all everywhere. They have to do it. Here's Lee, finds Craig. Craig swings the pain over to Craig, to Ross. Ross, back to Lee. Lee, tries to two. Two-pointer, rebound, it comes up by Batum. Just 10 seconds left to play. Finish it strong. Pull it to the bottle. Shot went up. DeAndre Ayton has received his first foul. Stop the clock at seven seconds. There's so much out there. They, they're not really focusing. This is really bad for the team to try to go over the line. Norman Powell, second time going to the free throw line, as right now the game, the game clock is turned off. Or, yeah, the shot clock is turned off. Substitutions coming in as Marcus Moore Sr. is checked in for Batum. The Suns are also making new changes as Bayambo is checked in for, for Ross. I'm sorry, Lee. Second free throw is good at the free throw line. Here's Payne. Winding down the shot clock. With the layup. Went short from the rim. That ends the first half. A 21-20 score. We'll see what happens if the third quarter comes in by.
Please stay back, stand by as we have a halftime show coming up. See you later in just a bit. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings, folks, and right now with me and me phone, this is the NBA Halftime Show of the playoffs. Let's have a look at what the recap looks like with the team of the battle. It's very tough to be clever, but let's have a look and see what happens. With the start of this one, the Suns are starting to go a little downward here for the second quarter, but now, with the Clippers, they're trying to regain enforcement to go right from here. And with the look at the Phoenix Suns, what is your take on this one? Well, my only personal take, they may be a tough one to try to keep it up steady. Probably the Suns could try to do a lot much better than they did than the Clippers. Now your take for Clippers, Son of East, how does it really come up with that game? Well, they're not really all authentic. I was wishing there would be another way to try to offend the run, but in that occasion, it might be tricky. And hopefully, thinking, we're finding more with a bigger lead in this game. And that's going to do it for the halftime show. With the third quarter about to begin, we send you back to FAN and the 2K Sports crew. See you later for the post-game show. back here at the Footprint Center. Right now the game is close. 21 and 20 is the score. And as we are looking for a better moment, the Devin Booker man. They've always called him how well he's done for his past couple games of the season. Only scored six. One rebound and assist. Well, I say that Devin Booker was going really, really pressing with all the intense work that he did. He's really like leaving his game. And it's exceeded this run might be going quicker than you think. But it may be tough, though, to try to keep it out. Whoa! Oh, man, I just saw it. Russell Westbrook was slamming one hand down. That fire this flame was just like that. And that extended chaos moment goes with the Clippers with an excellent slam dunk presented by AT&T 5G's of the Slam Fan. What an excellent play for Russell Westbrook. Paul back for the three. Three pointer missed the mark. George with the rebound back the other way it goes. They're scoring their last 227 per minute in the game. They don't have enough time to make that one a move. Well, as you say, the defenders are up front of it. They don't have enough room to go right between. And they have to fall back. Here's Aiden. Nice shot made over Clever Clay for a little, and they're back up in the lead. Fighting the bound, can't lose focus. Westbrook on call, finds Leonard. Leonard in the middle. For the cut, good rebound by Aiden, and another miss by Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard hasn't scored anything yet in the first half of the game, but only just three bounds. It's very that tough. You can't just let the players go up with you if you're going to try to make a stop. You've got to try to fix that one out of your own. Booker for the three. Durant comes to save the day. Excellent stop by motion of the Islanders. Oh, wow. They're doing a lot of hard things that they can't really do with the shot to try to pick up a rebound. Here's Kawhi Leonard on KD for the two. More senior for three. Rebound by Aiden. Another miss here for a more senior that comes off the long, trying to make a three, but the contact shot was not able to pick up the pressure. All it did turn out, they can't leave a denial. Nellis is broken up, and here is Westbrook. Clippers trailing. Westbrook on him. In the open look, trying to pick up a run, and Paul has it back. Here's Durant with the jump. Oh! Well, Mr. Durant, I can feel it. That was like a powwow, man. Like a little powwow on the man for the Kevin Durant dive. Leonard back over to Westbrook, back to Leonard. 330 left to go in the third corner. A Koji on him. Find Zubox. Looks for more senior. 
Nice D for Andre Gaten. And now he feeds off the Bucca. Last rebounds were turning out to be a little, little in-between balance by Trick. 21 for Suns and 16 for the Clippers. A little tense out there. What could figure out one out? Ball outside. Down the shot clock. Booker taking the three. Three pointer no good outside for Booker. Well, a lot of defenders were on him, just not going to be enough. With the rebound, Westbrook scoops the layup with a drive. Timeout called by Phoenix with 2.47 to go in the third quarter. It's close now. It's going to be a very tough matchup to try to fix it for the day. All because of that, it really has to happen one game at a time. And here up with the uh, coming up plays this one for tomorrow, we will have to see a look of it from the range of it to try to rematch and prove from the game. As we got the Brooklyn Nets and the Sixers here at Wells Fargo Center for, to, for tomorrow of game one. Following along here with the well with the Milwaukee Bucks. Milwaukee Bucks said definitely are back in the first place in the, in the C team that they're really trying to focus on. But now their focus on this attention is turning to be not much smoother and a little harder at least to try to climb in while the Celtics are right behind them. They were first last time, but now for a second, they could be going to enter in if they can try to squeeze in to do one again. All because this moment that Giannis on the Koopa was able to help the team with the encouragement, they've got to fix this one with the most intense work on their speed. The moment is really hopeless. I have to agree. It's very dedicated to die. Find the right move. Not able to do it, but it might be happening. Now the new substitution comes in here for the Sun and the Clippers. Players are checked out as all five players moves out of the bench, and five players checked in as Paul George moves to small four. And the same thing goes here with the with the Suns. Only three players checked out, three players checked in. Here's Lee. Hasn't scored yet in the first half of the game. Trying to go with their chain. They're off to it now. They gotta get over this. With the screen, Booker whipping the foul. And it's coming to him with the first foul. First team foul calls for Clippers. And right now, Devin Booker is at the free throw line shooting two. Oh, and that one. He was gonna try to do the uh, wraparound, wraparound shot and make that one go in. If you don't regret that Paul George was able to do the 360 windmill, that was happened here in 2014, the last time he was played for the Pacers. That was the closest one that he could ever get. First free throw good for Booker. My only decision making is what Booker really has to do. If he gets his right moment at a time, he could try to keep it from the deck. Norman Powell checked in for Paul George. Second free throw for Booker is good. Clippers trail by three. Powell trying to go with a with a look around to stop the arc is Gordon. Gordon back to Powell. Powell reaching forward here with a with a drop step motion. Plumley outside. Four on the shot clock. Plumley with a three. And no free point of good for Plumley. Ball on the fast break with a two. Nice D for Robert Covington. Robert Covington was really good at trying to keep it over it. They don't want to leave him alone. On fast break, here comes Booker. Ball with a shot. Makes a bucket in as Booker gets the assist. Ball on the run. Can say that one again. That was your offensive mobile one drive for the Suns. On Gordon. Back over to Powell. We're under 90 seconds to play in the third. With a wraparound shot. Lost the ball, but puts it back in for Eric Gordon. He's got his first bucket. As for this season, only 113 points and off rebound 115. But once more, they have to do one way or another. It may not be enough to go up with the motion here, but that drive is turning to be off the foot. Lee. Paul for three, reaching in and out, 
another missed bucket for Paul, for Chris Paul. He only has seven, but it's one point percentage. That's that's six as consecutive missed three pointers of the game. They're not really sure to keep it up for him. All he does is he's, he's nowhere around him. Craig with the layup, good over Norman Powell as Paul picks up the assist. Torian Craig's got his first bucket, and now here's Mann. Trying to pull back from the deck. With a lift, finding over his Powell. 25 seconds to go. With a shot, rebounded up by Lee. The shot clock is in front. Right now we're only down to 15 seconds. Gives it over to Bayambo. Double man finds Booker to Paul. Booker, outside the mark, off the range. Gordon for the half court. Oh my goodness, he made it that far. I don't know what Eric Gordon was going to do. He says, you know what, forget it. I just had that one shot in there. You say that, you can definitely count that one for Eric Gordon's half court shot. We're down to the last quarter, 31 to 29, to score the end of the third, fourth quarter. It's underway. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back after this. And I have a moment now to release the State Farm assist of the game. Now I have to say this one, all because of the Clippers were really regaining a lot of motion. And not for Chris Paul giving up to Booker, made that try a lot easier than he has done, efficiently. When this one usually comes in there, the better moment is definitely putting it on the wrist to make its way down. We are, we are down to the fourth quarter. I hope you enjoyed this one. Well, I think we did enjoy that one here too. If you don't mind? Well, you can always count that one there. One of the better plays than you had. A Koji right to pain. Courtesy the field for Gatorade all filled up and ready to go for the final quarter. Three seconds is the call on DeAndre Ayton. And he did not have the right timing to get out of the paint. Well, that turns over again. Then this moment doesn't really happen. Westbrook, put the ball. Pass to Zubox. Zubox over the line. A Koji on it. Trying to pressure it up. Ball tipped away as DeAndre Ayton with a steal. Here's a Koji. Makes this shot. A good pass here by Kevin Durant. And he's got another assist here, and Akoji's got a second bucket of the night. Now here's Leonard. Covered up by Akoji. Over to Moy Sr. With the shot. Rebound. Oh, put back in for Zubox. Oh my, I don't know that Ivica Zubox did in time. But it looks like he just did right there, just like that. How did that dump get happen? I don't know, but you might have to fix it for yourself. Aiden to Payne. Block the shot by Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook got his first block of the game. Kawhi Leonard on cold streak, not able to pick up his good shots. He's cold, can't let that happen. Why? He's flying big here! I say, Kevin Durant, we love you! Here's Westbrook back to Leonard, a Koji on him. Three for George. Three pointer off the mark. Missed again for the three point range. Sun lead by four. Kane on the outside. Hasn't scored yet in every quarter of the game. A Koji up. Tough contest shot, but it was Liam Leonard with the rebound. George on the fast break, trying to go up to it now. And DeAndre Higgin with the rebound. He's got 12 rebounds this game. Now it swings it to Paul to Kevin Durant. Up to Rose. Ross, back to Koji. Up and overhead pass to Durant. Six on the clock. The step up. Rebounded up here by Zubox and on the miss by Phoenix Suns. That's hard because the Kevin Payne was not really going to stay focused well enough. He's lost his balance. Can't try to fool that one. Westbrook, step back. Vika, Zubox. Three for George. 
Once again, no three-pointer connection here for Paul George. He's losing too many streaks out there. That's going to be very hard to try to keep his runs up to score for Paul George. Payne back over to Koji. Three minutes left by in the fourth quarter. Four on the shot clock. Durant over Morris. Layup scoops in for Durant. And right for this moment, the fans are just going wild. Now the timeout call by LAC. 2.47 to go. It's 37-31. But this guy, he's like a legend to go back to the floor. And now I have to say about them, they're really tough one to keep their eyes on pressure there. All for the Suns, they've really done the best. The NBA playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by your local Kia dealers. And no big bad spiders. T5G. Spice, reliable, and secure. And by State Farm. Call or get a free quote today at 1 800 State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And now, we're about to find out who's the New Balance player of the game. And this player with those two, only the player of this one game, Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook is definitely one of occasion there, and there's everything to talk about. When Russell Westbrook has his team out there, they can definitely start doing this once and for all. They definitely have their all rights for the game. They do! When I say Russell Westbrook, you get the call of what they're going for. Here's a Koji. Good luck, but not a good shot here as he missed another bucket. All schools are doing going downwards out there. It looks like a George might need something else. More senior. Great jacket by Durant. Oh, wow. The fans love Durant. And with that one on her hand, we have Russell Westbrook with a rejection on hand. It's very that clearful that Russell Westbrook was doing it on his own. Never really spot that one coming along out there. And if you say that Russell Westbrook got a block out of it, you got good hands out there. He finds Leonard. George. Try to go for the dunk, and he dies. With Forgetting the three-pointer, and he says, you know what, forget it. And I can say, I want to do some a little dunk out there to get the two. Yeah, pretty good idea, because the two-pointer was very, very too hard. I mean, the three-pointer was too hard, but the two was very easy to get up there. At least you have a good balance out there trying to pick up the run. Here's Paul George. They're down by four. Leonard. And he's five. Eight in the second first ball, another team foul on Phoenix. Oh man, the crowd is going really nuts everywhere. They say this is not a great day because of that and night can be very brutal on the pain button. Ibika Zubax hasn't made it to the free throw line since three quarters ago. It was turning out to be just like that. But now he's at the free throw line shooting two. First free throw, went on target. As for this part of the game, Ibika Zubox has already have been playing out here once this game turned to be a regular season halt. Trying to pick up a lead and then go with a win. I mean, very tough on of credit. They definitely made it that far. I mean, to be honest, back in 2021, they definitely did play against the other team. Without eyes on the target of this pride, and we're definitely doing it all over again. They're not, we're, we're not really keeping it up because the Suns definitely did beat against the Clippers here in part of the Eastern Conference Finals. No, Western Conference Finals. And that was the only thing that they have never done. It. Very hard to go through here. Now number two point bucket score for Kevin Durant. He's paid off to a good shot here. Keep it the good work. A, a fantastic mobile one drive for Kevin Durant. 
We're passing now to a 90 second to play in the fourth quarter. With a try, Mika Zubac with a rebound. Double man, and make the third layup drive here for Zubac. They're down by three. Here's Paul, who scored seven points in the game to keep the digit in the number. Apoji, right toward the baseline, finds Kevin Durant. Trying to reset the team, but the shot clock is winding down. Booker for the two. Rebound by Moore Sr. Their team out to a bad, bad start here, but the ending of the fourth quarter, really got to pay attention there. Westbrook missed the two. Now Booker comes the other way and goes right to Apoji. Here's Booker. Apoji. on Kevin Durant. He's already been turned out facing. Next time out has been called by the LA Clippers with their final timeout. Only 23 seconds. They're doing a lot of better handling than they can do. All they have to do is they try to stay focused in the game. They are tough when they go out by. By the moment, they didn't really stand out like they did. I would say that they would be proving it out there just like they always did. But in that case, they can definitely do what they ever wanted to do and try to reach the game right by you. DeAndre Ayton is checked out as Bayambo is checked in. And right now for the Suns, they have to keep their mans on two and three zone attacks. A Koji on Leonard. George trying to go for three. Air ball. And it's Yvika Zubac with the foul. Oh, man, Paul George. I'm sorry, but that all changes lives. George, Paul over to Booker. And he's fouled by Paul George. Right now, he's at the free throw line for two. 14.2 seconds stopped. No timeouts for game for LA Clippers. And they got last two buckets here for Booker to keep their games on. He has eight. Hasn't scored really much of it yet. No three-pointers. They're already like being patient out there. First three-pointer sent in for Booker. Second free throw good for Bunker. Here's Westbrook, down to 10, 9 o'clock. Leonard for three. Oh man, that went in and out. And the Suns will regain the win for the first time against the Clippers with the end of the playoff game one. It's 43 to 36. That's what you call that one here. That already has happened just like that. But now, we have it all the truth. And now to the court side, we have this Allie LaForce. Allie, who do you have on the sideline here? Kevin, you had a great performance individually. What made the game look so easy for you? With me, Fan, along with Silver Spoon and Nickel, this has been a presentation of the NBA Playoffs. We'll catch you all again next time for the next couple games on their way. See you, everybody, and have a good night. All right, thank you so much, Fan. And for the final score, this was a tough matchup as we've seen them playing in a Western Conference since 2021 of the 2K Sports. This was as determined that the Suns have made their own victory to keep your eyes on pressure to advance towards to the finals. They were able to be lucky enough to make it to, to win the Western Conference finals over to the finals. And they were the Western Conference champions in for the Suns to beat against the Clippers. That was all they did. Yeah, definitely indeed they have to do that one once more to keep it twice out there for the range 
and do much as, as they can. And here's how they did with the stolen statistics here. 37 for the field goal percentage. Both free throws are turning a little bit off the angle here with only one. Free throws were only were only 100% to make that one much aggressive. And this one was fast break points for 12. Points in paint were 28. Second chance points for 18. And bench points for 15 for the Clippers. On the other hand, we have the assist. 15 in a row for the Suns. 12 offensive rebounds for the Clippers and defense rebounds, 27 for Suns, 3 steals, and 2 of them only had 1 with the blocks. Only points off for the turnovers was the Suns that turned them out to be only 6. Team fouls, less to have the common with 4. And 6 dunks performed for the Phoenix Suns, really well done with one of the players bestest in the league. Well, I don't know if you say best in the league, but it's best in the game. Oh, yeah, I was definitely thinking of that one, too. Well, don't give me that one wrong. <laughs> so, I don't know what to say about this, but uh, that's what the game is all about. Biggest lead was 7. A time of possession, 13-30, and only remained two timeouts, while no Clippers have timeout here at the end of the quarter of the game. Now let's have a look of your three-star players of the game. I will start first. Let's have a look and see what we have. Number 3. Yeah, that one really has to turn out to be legit, but it was all as it happened. Russell Westbrook with 8 points, 4 rebounds, assist in the block. Only made that one with 4 out of 7 field goal percentage. Every 3-pointer he never gets. It wasn't just him, he didn't have it right. Only 10 performance and 2 dunks were performed. I could tell you, I could take that one as an example, could compromise. All he has played with, without the Wizards and the Rockets, only one time of each season. He only played with just a couple of it, with the Lakers. But now, he's playing with the Clippers to give him off the run. I don't know how much season is he going to do, but we have to keep your eyes on appeal. Now for number two. Let's have your take, Son of Beast. So, Alright, thank you very much. Let's have a look of it in between two guys that are tied up right now. As of this point, Kevin Durant with 10 points, 7 rebounds, and 3 assists only took a one steal look of a crack. Until they took one block right from the uh, suggesting from this shot angle. Two dunks performed. 16 performance run was a better to salute for Durant without the Nets. And for number one take. Alright, the number one take goes to Devin Booker with 10 points, one rebound, two assists, and a steal. Only did 14 in a row for the performance run. He missed four free pointers. Didn't really gain up again. But that was all it took. So, as are being said, the first three games have been complete. But there will be more underway soon. 43-36 is your final score. The Suns are on the, are on the leading board over the Clippers 1-0 in the series. So keep the fast tuning of next time as we will have the Sixers and the Nets tomorrow once again. And then following along with the, with the Milwaukee Bucks and the Raptors, here at the Fiserv.forum for the second game, and the third game will be the Grizzlies and the Lakers. With that being said, thank you all for watching, and me phones out of here. Peace out everyone for a while, as the NBA playoff dial of 2K Sports. This is me phone along with Son of Beast. Thanks for joining us. Good night in Phoenix, Arizona, along with the Clippers of LA. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.